Hi everyone, my name is Shayna and I'm a professional clown and face painter. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a tiger face painting. And this one's kid friendly. I have another video posted that's a little more deluxe tiger and that, uh, as I said, I wouldn't recommend that one for kids. This one is great uh, for line work or birthday parties or what have you uh, because it's very simple and uh, even for the most wiggly of kids it should should go pretty easily. So. Uh, again, I'm going to be applying the color with regular old makeup sponges. So, first off, we're going to take white and put that on the upper lip. Now, a lot of times the kids will laugh here because it feels like they're getting a mustache. Looks kind of silly. Um, and then you're going to also put white above the eye. I just go up to the eyebrow. Right there. Alright, <clears throat> so my face painting kit has yellow and orange. I like to start with yellow because if you get sort of a sunburst technique fading from the yellow to the orange on the outside, that's always kind of nice. So I start on the nose with the yellow. By the way, I generally, I know I didn't do this in my butterfly video, but I usually will start with the lightest colors and then go to the darker colors because you can always blend darker into lighter, it's kind of difficult to do the other way around. Um, so now I'm going to take my orangish color and then blend that from the outside. So I'm going to start out here, blend inwards into the yellow that I've got right there. Okay, And again, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, like so. Now, for the top of the tiger head, when I do an animal face for a kid, it's usually like, not like they are the animal, but rather that they're wearing a mask of the animal on their face. So, I actually show the tiger's ears on the child's face. So that goes basically a triangle that is from, you know, the, the base of the triangle would be the eyebrow. And the point of the triangle goes to just below the uh, hairline there. So you can be pretty loose, you know, blend it in as you see fit. Ta-da! Now is when I put on the details. So, using a brush, and of course black paint, because this is a tiger after all, start usually with the nose. And that is just a straight line across right there. And then what I do is I fill in the under part of the nose. Now you don't need to go crazy and get in their nostrils actually. I really don't recommend that. That's kind of gross. Um, but you know, just fill it in as much as you can. And then a line down sort of bisecting the upper lip. Now you'll notice I didn't fill white in all the way down to my lip. Generally the events that will have face painting will also have lots of greasy food. Um, and when your face painting designs get smeared and streaked, it, it's not exactly the best advertising for you. It's a funny way of thinking of it, but... So I try and stay away from messy areas. So now that we've got you know this sort of thing here, I outline the muzzle, go from the corner of the mouth, again not right in the mouth, the moist part of the mouth, just kind of right outside the edge of the mouth, and curve up just kind of like that. One thing I love about face painting with a brush is that the harder you push with the brush, the thicker your line will be and the lighter you trail off with it, the thinner the line will be. It's always fun to play with this varied line width. So as you can see right there, it's kind of thick at the uh, apex of the curve and it trails off a little bit up there. Looks a little more professional when you have that. Um, and then, of course, tigers have stripes. So what I do is I start from the inside of the, uh, on like I guess the bridge of the nose, a little bit high, not down too low because you're going to put another one below this. But I start out light so we have a thin stripe. Start out light and curl up, rather curve up towards the eye. Okay, you can see that there. And then I sort of follow the cheekbone and come back up. 
And when once I've gone into my like swoop here on the cheekbone, I am definitely pushing very hard with the brush so as to get the thickest line. So thin, thick, thin again. Then below that stripe, I'm going to put another stripe that is a very similar uh, arc to it, just right underneath it, a little bit shorter. There's swoop. And now when I come around with this one, I'm actually going to connect it there to the top one. Now, the last uh, stripe, it's not really a stripe, it's sort of like the bottom of the face, but I just connect from here with a curved line to the outline of my muzzle. There you have it, a very stylized and simple half a tiger face. Um, so again, you're just going to want to mimic this on the other side of the face. Now, as you might have noticed, my orange kind of goes beyond the edge of my black right there. That's fine, uh, absolutely fine. I've never had a problem with it. It allows you to be really loose with the uh, with the first application of color. And the outline defines the face, not the color. The color just sort of adds the exciting pop to it. All right, so coming in at the top of the tiger face, about where my orange starts, again, this is an uneven line, I'm going to start, I'm going to push my brush right in the middle of, right between the eyes, and trail it down there. So I get like a thick to thin line right there. And I'm going to do that twice again on the other sides of it, a little bit shorter. So you get like this three line thing right up there. Then from those lines, I just kind of curve up and first I go flat to be like the forehead of the tiger and then up in a curve to be the outline of the ear. For the uh, backside outline of the ear I'm going to come straight down, curve it out, and curve in. So you kind of see that it has a little bit of a, rather than just making a straight triangle, it comes down and then curves out. So I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Straight down, curve, and in. Um, everyone's eyebrows are positioned differently, but usually these ears will end right there on the end of the eyebrows. Um, one thing I come in and do is make a cat's eye. Now, depending on how young the child is, you might not want to get too close to the eye. That makes them uncomfortable and what... It's not necessary, um, but from the corner of the eye out, and again on the other side, whoosh, there we go. And uh, as a last bit, I kind of come in on the eyebrow, and I trace the eyebrow, and then sort of parallel that upper, uh, the upper contour of the ear. So this gives him, or uh, rather our tiger, a couple more stripes, and it also sort of implies that there's the fold on the top part of the ear. Uh, then, of course, we are missing little whisker holes here on the tiger, so you can just do the old one, two, three. One, two, three. And that is a tiger. Uh, parents love it. It's simple. It's quick. It looks great. It's clean. I just... I go on and on. Um, but I hope you have good luck utilizing this in your face painting jobs. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, if you'd like to see me do any other faces, please leave me a comment. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.